Whatever we once were, we are no longer a Christian nation. And uh, frankly, we're, we're scared. Um, we're scared of an Obama presidency. First of all, I want to be president of the United States, and obviously I do not want Senator Obama to be. But I have to tell you, I have to tell you, he is a decent person and a person that you do not have to be scared as president of the United States. Now, I, I just, now I just, now, now look, I, point. Um, I got to ask you a question. I do not uh, believe in, I can't trust Obama. I, I have read about him, and he's not, he's not, he's a, um, he's an Arab. He is not. No, 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 no ma'am, no, ma'am. No, ma he's a, he's a, he's a decent family man, citizen that I just happen to have disagreements with on, on fundamental issues, and that's what this campaign is all about. He's not. Thank you. Thank you. One person who's been arguing for intervention almost since the Civil War began in Syria is Senator John McCain. And Senator McCain, the White House makes clear that the U.S. will start providing military assistance to the rebels. Presumably that means weapons. So what, what weapons are you comfortable giving the rebels there? And are there any weapons you are not comfortable giving them? I am, I am comfortable with giving them whatever the weapons they need to defend themselves against the onslaught of Russian weapons of the most sophisticated kind, Iranian weapons. And I am absolutely convinced that we need uh, to have heavy weapons, both anti-tank and anti-air. And finally, could I say, unless we take out Bashar Assad's uh, our air assets and establish a safe zone, it will not change the favorable conditions on the battlefield for Bashar Assad. So will this be enough to turn the tide, the weapons that will be going in now? It will not. We have to take out, we have to establish a safe zone, move the Patriots missile batteries close, uh, take out with cruise missiles their air assets and, and logistics on the ground and establish that safe zone. Then we can change the equation on the ground, not before. Assalamu alaikum. Many other Americans have Muslims in their families or have lived in a Muslim majority country. I know because I am one of them. You know, I have Muslim members of my family. Uh, I have uh, lived in Muslim countries. The largest one? The largest one, Indonesia. I, 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 let's not play games. Uh, what I was suggesting, you, you are absolutely right that John McCain has not. Uh, talked about my Muslim faith. But my father came from a Kenyan family that includes generations of Muslims. As a boy, I spent several years in Indonesia and heard the call of the Azan at the break of dawn. Well, I have known Islam on three continents before coming to the region where it was first revealed. That experience guides my conviction. Many people in this part of the world talk extensively about the fact that Ob uh, Obama had, uh, has uh, uh, Islamic heritage, that uh, some of his relatives in, in Africa are, all, are also practicing Muslims right now. Now look at a part of Barack Obama's life that most people probably have never known about. When Obama's stepfather changed jobs and moved the family to another neighborhood in Jakarta, Obama's mother enrolled him in the Basuki Public School. This was Obama's class. former classmates showed me his old desk. Barry sat here, Barry Barack sat there, and then you sat there. The school's makeup reflects the population of Indonesia, more than 90% Muslim. 
There is a mosque in the school. It overlooks the playground. And every day at noon, the children are called to prayer. The only record of Obama having attended the school is this old register. And look, it lists his name as Barry Satoro. That's the name Obama took from his Indonesian stepfather, Lolo Satoro. That class register says Obama came from Honolulu and lists his date of birth. But look at his nationality. It's listed as Indonesian and his religion as Islam. As some of you know, my perspective has been shaped not only by my values as an American, but by my experiences as a child in Indonesia and visiting my father's family in Kenya. I first came to this country uh, when my mother married an Indonesian uh, named Lolo Sutoro. And while my stepfather, like most Indonesians, was raised a Muslim. Now, I stayed here for four years, a time that helped shape my childhood, my Indonesian family and friends. Uh, Barack has led by example. Uh, when we took our trip to Africa and visited his home country in Kenya, uh, we took a public HIV test. When we took our trip to Africa and visited his home country in Kenya, uh, we took a public HIV test. It's been quite a year since I've uh, spoken here last. Lots of ups. Lots of downs, except for my approval ratings, which have just gone down. <laughs> but that's politics. It doesn't bother me. Besides, I happen to know that my approval ratings are still very high in the country of my birth. <laughs> so... The state of Hawaii released my official long-form birth certificate. 